Good afternoon, everybody. Wow, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. So last week's video, you saw me remove a couple of firewalls. Um, now you're going to see me put them right back in. Uh, my lovely boss, Amon, and I do mean that. I don't. It's not sarcastic at all. Um, decided that it would be a good idea if we had a firewall test bed. So <laughs> there's no way I can get rid of that bad lighting. Sorry. Um, so she asked me to uh, set up a test bed with two of our old firewalls. So to do that, I'm going to reinstall them in the rack. Um, so you saw how I uninstall things. I'm going to show you how I um, install things. So let me get my laptop over there. I've got my laptop sitting on a laptop that's bolted down to a cart. So uh, hopefully, and our data center is a mess right now. So we're going to be installing it in this rack here. And we're going to be putting it right down there above that patch panel. I'm going to install those two uh, firewalls. And uh, so what I'm going to do is use, um, hello. What I'm going to do is uh, use some equipment that's already sitting there to hold the firewalls up while I mount them in place. So. Let me uh, grab something to hold it up. Um, let's see if this will work here. Yeah, I think that'll work. So I've already got a little switch down there that's behind the patch panel. And I just put a roll of duct tape on there that'll hopefully get everything up to the right height while I uh, mount the firewall. So first thing I'm gonna do is put the secondary firewall in, which is over here. So pardon me, I will be right back. We really need to clean this up. This place is a mesh, huge mesh. Sorry about the door. So there, you can look at that while I go get my other firewall here. Okay, it's not that one. It's this one. So this one here is my old secondary from down in the basement. So what I'm going to do is put it in right down there. So just real quick, I'm gonna see if it fits the way I want. Oh, close to perfect. So <laughs> one switch, which is one U and a roll of tape, which apparently is another U, is holding that at the, almost the perfect angle. So let me get a couple of screws because I forgot those, of course. You gotta forget at least one thing when you do this. Uh, shoot, where are my screws? There's a couple. Hopefully these will work. Sorry about the delay. Here, I'll come over there and hunt around for my screws. So you know I'm here doing something. Um, so here's a couple mismatched screws, but we'll see if they work or not. And like I said, I always start with the bottom because the, the back end wants to fall down in the back anyway. And um, it wants to pull the top of these mounting ears back that way and the bottom of the mounting ears toward me. So if I bolt these down first, then it's not gonna wanna to move on. You'll see what I mean, maybe. One.
There's two. So now what I'm gonna do is reach in there and pull my uh, roll of tape out. And the switch. So if you see what I mean, I just put these two bottom ones in, the top ones aren't in, and the back wants to sag down, so it's pulling the top that way. And it's not going anywhere. So that's one way to get these in temporarily with uh, just two screws. Um, and let me find two more here um, while we're having this lovely discussion. So I'm not gonna get this stupid plastic bag open. I haven't been checked out on the operation of plastic bags. Uh, let's see. Let's screw. I'm just gonna use two more. Make sure they fit. I'm trying any, any old hole here. Okay, these screws work. Um, so I am going to go get the other firewall real quick and we'll mount that. Don't need the roll of tape anymore. Okay. Um, let's see, it's actually right there. Let me move this this way. I'm gonna, you know, one thing I like about these doors that we have. Hi, I'm back. Remember me? These doors see, opens this way. It also opens this way. Or you can take them off. But uh, I like these doors. All right, let me uh, get my other firewall here. Now, if these units, oops, you didn't even see me do that. Sorry about that. If these units were um, super heavy, I wouldn't recommend doing this because I've only got two screws holding the bottom one in and I've got the top one setting on top of it. That's not the best thing to do, um, but I know these units are pretty light. So it's really not gonna cause too much of a strain issue. It's not gonna cause anything to break. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, secure the bottom two screw holes in this other firewall here. And I try to just get them started most of the way down. I don't cinch them all the way down until I've got both screws started. That one's not the right size. How did you get in there? Hope this one is. Check it. Yeah, that one's the right size. This one is either not the right size or that screw hole is stripped. Let me try the other screw hole. Let's see. Not, not the right size. Get a different screw here. Yep, that's just how we roll here in the network world. Sometimes you get a bunch of screws that are the wrong size. It happens. Let's try this one. Of course, no uh, install job is ever complete until you've dropped at least three screws. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. All right. So I'm gonna go find uh, four more screws to mount those properly. Um, and this is going to become our, our test bed for testing out firewall changes and things we don't really want to try on our production firewalls, which are over here. Um, and what I'm also going to do is add this guy, which is underneath. 
I've got uh, mounting ears for this. So I'm gonna put the mounting ears on it. And I'm gonna mount it right here. Um, and that will become kind of our test switch, test firewall. I'm gonna have to patch this switch into our production switch down there. And uh, yeah, we'll be off and running. So anyway, that's kind of a short, short, sweet video this week. Um, just thought you guys would like to see uh, how I install stuff. I don't know. You, you might have a different way. You might have uh, better ideas. Um, but that's the way I do it. Like I said, get those bottom two screws in. That'll hold the, the switch in place. It'll keep it from sagging and, and rocking backwards. And uh, then you can take your time putting the others in. So it's especially helpful when you, you got a guy holding the one and you're trying to put the screws in and he's getting tired and, and he's whining and crying about it. <laughs> you can get the screws in quickly. So that's all we got this week, folks. Hope you uh, appreciate the video. Um, as always, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if so desired. And uh, we'll see you all next week. God bless. Let's see, this is a new laptop. Where is everything? Uh, and, 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 there you are. End meeting for all.